Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Pamela's Creation. I am back with this new Amigurumi project, Night in Shining Armor. In this tutorial, I will be going to show you the steps on how to make the body parts. And then for the accessories, I decided to make a written pattern for it. You can see the written pattern in my Instagram post. Just follow me, Pamela's Creation. It would mean a lot to me if you guys can follow me in my other social media. Okay, so if you want to know how I did the steps that I make, please continue watching and let's get started. So to begin this project, I'm going to start with the legs. So you're going to make two. The first one, you need to cut it. And then the second one, don't cut it and then we are going to connect the legs together. So row one, I'm going to make the magic ring and then six single crochet into the magic ring. So two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to pull out the tail. So next row, I'm going to increase the stitches, so two single crochet each stitch. At the end of the row, you should have 12 stitches. So one and two. So repeat that all the way around. Okay, the next row, row three, I'm working at the back loop only. So first four stitches, one single crochet. So again, back loop only. One. Two. three and four and then next four stitches again I'm going to increase the stitches so two single crochet each stitch one and another one same stitch so two three and Four. Okay, so at the end of row three, you should have 16 stitches. Next row, row four, I'm going to make one single crochet again, next four stitches. Again, I'm working again at the back loop only. So one. two, three, and four. So next is I'm going to make four decrease. So I'm going to insert my hook at the back loop only. Three loops all together. So one decrease, two, three and four okay and then last remaining four stitches one single crochet one two three and Four. So at the end of row four, you should have 12 stitches again. Next row, row five, I'm going to work again at the back loop only. 
this time one single crochet all the way around back loop only So then next row, row 6, I'm going to continue one single crochet all the way around. So 9 rounds of one single crochet all the way around. Each round you should have 12 stitches. So go ahead do your 9 rounds of one single crochet and then we meet up at the end of row 14. Okay. So done with my nine rounds of one single crochet so you need to make two of these the first one you need to cut it and then the second one just continue and then I'm going to show you how to connect the parts together and that is row 15 so I'm going to start at the back one single crochet each stitch until I reach the middle part and then connect to the other leg okay so i'm going to place my marker and then one single crochet next 12 stitches one two eleven and twelve and then connect Put them together and then insert your hook next to the other leg then start making 12 single crochet 1 2 8 9 10 and then I'm going to insert my hook to this loop and then just one regular single crochet so 11 and 12 okay and this end tail just put inside by the way At the end of row 14, you can put some stuffing inside. So at the end of row 15, you should have 24 stitches in both legs. The next row, row 16 and 17, two rounds of one single crochet all the way around so you still have 24 stitches each round go ahead do your two rounds of one single crochet so make sure you have 24 stitches one So after two rounds of one single crochet, next row row 18, I'm going to make another one single crochet all the way around but this time back loop only. So 
so next row is row 19 and 20 another two rounds of one single crochet all the way around Okay, so I'm done with my two rounds of one single crochet. Next row is row 21. I'm going to start the decrease. So first, next four stitches, one single crochet, one, two, three, and four, and then decrease next two stitches. So three loops all together. So repeat that all the way around. At the end of the row, you should have 20 stitches. Next row, row 22. Next three stitches, one single crochet. One, two, and three. Then decrease next two stitches. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of the row, you should have 16 stitches. Okay. So next row, row 23. Next two stitches, one single crochet. One and two. Then decrease next two stitches. So repeat that all the way around. At the end of the row, you should have 12 stitches. Next is I'm going to put stopping inside. Okay, so done with my stopping. Next row, row 24. I'm going to add one round of one single crochet so you still have 12 stitches one two row 25 i'm going to start the head so get your skin color yarn then i'm going to change the yarn and then one single crochet so row 25 with the skin color yarn I'm going to make one single crochet all the way around so 12 stitches two four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so you can now cut the gray yarn and then put it inside this two and tail. So next row is row 26. I'm going to increase the stitches. So one single crochet first stitch and then increase next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of the row, you should have 18 stitches. Next row. Row 27. Next two stitches, one single crochet. 
one and then I do one next stitch and then increase next stitch so repeat that all the way around at the end of the row you should have 24 stitches next row row 28 next three stitches one single crochet and then increase next stitch so repeat that all the way around at the end of the row you should have 30 stitches so next row row 29 next four stitches one single crochet one two three and four and then next stitch increase so one and another one same stitch repeat that all the way around at the end of the row you should have 36 stitches okay so then with my row 29 next row is row 32 34 four rounds of one single crochet all the way around so each round you should have 36 stitches then go ahead do your four rounds of one single crochet and then we meet up at the end of row 34 okay so then with my row 34 four rounds of one single crochet so next row i'm going to start the decreasing next four stitches one single crochet and then decrease next two stitches so repeat that all the way around end of row 35 you should have 30 stitches so next row row 36 next three stitches one single crochet one two and three and then decrease next two stitches So repeat that all the way around at the end of the row you should have 24 stitches okay next row row 37 next two stitches one single crochet one and two then decrease next two stitches repeat that all the way around at the end of the row you should have 18 stitches after that you can put the stopping for the head okay, so done putting some stopping for the head the next is I'm going to continue decreasing the stitches until I reach the middle part so row 38 one single crochet and then decrease and then decrease all the way around the rest of the stitches i'm going to use yarn needle to close the middle part okay so i'm going to finish it and then i'll get back to you once i'm done with the head this I'm going to make the arms so you need to make two first I'm going to use the skin color yarn so I'm going to start with the magic ring and then into the magic ring six single crochet 
Un, tu, tri, por, pait, en, six. And then pull out the tail. So next row, row two, next two stitches, one single crochet. One and another one. Next stitch. Then increase next stitch. So two single crochet, same stitch. Repeat one more. One, two, and then increase. So at the end of row two, you should have eight stitches. So next row, row three, one single crochet all the way around. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to insert my hook next stitch and then get my yarn with the color gray. And then one single crochet. So row four, one single crochet all the way around with the gray yarn. So again, you still have eight stitches. So next row is row 5 to 12, one single crochet all the way around. So go ahead to your 8 rounds of one single crochet and then we meet up once I'm done with my 8 so rounds. once you're done with your 2 arms, you're going to attach that to the row next to this last gray row in this row. So next Okay, for the details, I'm going to make the knee pads. So I'm going to use again the gray yarn. So first, I'm going to chain 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I'm going to add one more. So in total of 17. And then I'm going to skip the first stitch. And then next six stitches, one single crochet. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. And then next four stitches half double crochet. So three loops all together. Yarn over, insert your hook, next stitch, and then three loops all together. Two, three, and four. And then the remaining last six stitches going to make one single crochet one two three four five and six okay then pass the knob and leave a tail for sewing So I'm working in this front loop line at the waist. So I'm using again the gray yarn and then place your tail head down. So I'm going to make single crochet 22 stitches and then skip 2 stitches at the front. So I'm going to insert my hook there and then slip stitch and then chain one. This chain one count as one single crochet and then 22 in total of 22 stitches. And then next row, I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and then next four stitches, one single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to increase next stitch. So two single crochet same stitch I'm going to repeat that until I reach the end stitch Okay, so at the end of row 2, you should have 26 stitches. And then next is row 3 and 4, chain 1 and then turn your work. So row 3 and 4 is one single crochet each row. So go ahead, do your 2 rounds or 2 rows of one single crochet.
So I'm done attaching the knee pads. The next is I'm going to attach the hair. Attach the end row all the way around. Also finish the piece for the eyes I always use this six millimeter size hyper from Reher I put the link down in my description box below where you can purchase it just in case you want to get one by the way for the lips and eyebrow I use a small black yarn so that's pretty it for this video the accessories pattern you can get it in my Instagram account just follow me Pamelissus creation Thank you for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Bye!